Being able to create a subroutine means you can call a section of Visual Basic when you require it to carry out a set of actions. But how can we call a subroutine? Well, there are a number of ways, either from Excel or from the VBA window side. Let's use the sample underscore sub file available in your working folder. And in module one, we have a little subroutine called sample that is simply going to produce a message box that says the end of the world is about here. So how can we trigger this message box? Method one would be to go to run within the VBA window and choose run sub slash user form. We then get a choice and run and we see we get our message box. The end of the world is about here. Now you can stop that dialog box from appearing by actually being in the subroutine when you call it. So if we have our cursor here, so we're actually within the subroutine open and close blocks, run, run sub, it runs that subroutine. We can do the same thing from the little play button here or from F5 on the keyboard. So we're triggering the same command from the VBA editor. We can also use the immediate window that we saw in the introduction. So let's view immediate window and come down here and write the name of the subroutine and return. And you'll see that also runs the subroutine. So from the VBA window, we can call the subroutine in a number of ways. Now, ideally, you don't want people to have to go into the VBA editor to call your subroutine. We want to be doing it from Excel. So in Excel, we have plenty of ways of calling our subroutine. We can either go to the list of macros, choose our sample macro here and click run and that will run the subroutine. Or if we've assigned a keyboard shortcut, we can use the keyboard shortcut to run our subroutine. So I have assigned a keyboard shortcut, Control Shift O, brings up the subroutine. Now the keyboard shortcut is actually assigned in Excel. So we choose the macro, select the individual macro we're interested in and options. And this is where you would assign your keyboard shortcut. So it's not a VBA setting, it's an Excel setting. Also from within Excel, we can call our subroutine by using a button here on the sheet. The end of the world is about here. Or as we will look at as we develop and move through the course, buttons up here on the ribbons, either on your own ribbon or on an existing ribbon or even on the quick access toolbar. So we can place buttons in each of those locations that will trigger your subroutine. Alternatively, we can call it from another routine. We can call it automatically when your workbook opens or when your workbook closes or when it's triggered by another event. So there's a few ways of actually making your subroutine be called. When called, it then carries out its actions.